Welcome to this news update, an edition of In the Hyperloop. I'm your host, Blake Annaberg, and this week's episode features news from our loop and their move to blockchain technology. So what is this and why would they want to do this? Um, for a bit of background, our loop is a nonprofit that was founded off of a Reddit Hyperloop thread in 2015. Our loop has since created Hyperloop technology as a decentralized team. Now they're scaling their validated concepts and trying to work with their growing community of 1,000 plus collaborators uh, from over 50 countries. They've won awards for their Hyperloop designs and their Hyperloop prototype pods. Now they want to use their blockchain technology, which is called the distributed ledger, for tracking various assets and contracts. I know what you're thinking, and yes, this is different from a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. But before we dive in, just a quick reminder that in the Hyperloop relies on support from viewers like you. If you like what you see, consider supporting us by clicking on the link at the bottom of your screen for our Patreon page. Without further ado, let's get started. Blockchain, it's like a broad term like the internet, but it specifically is a technology called a distributed ledger, which means that it is a type of data structure which resides across multiple computing devices and is generally spread across uh, multiple regions. The distributed ledger, ledger technology includes blockchain um, technologies and smart contracts. While distributed ledgers existed prior to Bitcoin, the Bitcoin uh, blockchain marks the convergence of a host of different technologies. Um, these usually uh, are three basic components uh, for um, blockchain. A data model that captures the current state of the ledger, a language of transactions that changes the ledger state, and a protocol used to build consensus among participants around which transactions will be accepted and in what order by the ledger. So what does this have to do with Hyperloop? Well, our loop is a distribu distributed group around the world working on hardware and software for the Hyperloop. And they want to codify all the work that they've been doing for the last three years into this distributed ledger so people can own exact copies of the ledger and get credit for their work. By ensuring all the parties within our loop agree to a certain state in the system, which is called consensus, this means that the system uh, can create smart contracts, which will allow for our loopers uh, to grow um, and set up business processes so that they know in real time exactly the state of their work. Um, our loop will be doing this through uh, tokens, so people can work on Hyperloop technology and receive tokens uh, that are owned by the R loop network. As party work on Hyperloop technology, as people work on this technology uh, as an as, and as a decentralized team, uh, they're still trying to stay true of the R loop uh, culture, um, but also trying to create kind of a formal organization. These tokens will be part of that uh, participation. From a security perspective, blockchain is a log-based system, so you'll, um, you'll be recording uh, what has happened as it's happening, and other business logic will be based upon that. Um, together, these can be used to build new uh, software applications uh, that establish trust, accountability, and transparency at their core, while streamlining the business processes um, and legal constraints. Our loop has been a very human scale intensive organization so far, so this transition from human scale to computer scale will hopefully allow everyone to trust each other and be more transparent on how work is progressing instantaneously. Our loop basically wants to continue to allow to anybody to work on Hyperloop um, and other future projects that might not be Hyperloop related, but blockchain could increase the amount of, of investment that they get in new and open research. The strength of the strength of our loop um, is that they harness a massive global pool of talent and projects with uh, people that don't have you know opportunities to work on these projects in their normal work. So it's kind of like bringing power of innovation back to people. Our loop really hopes to be one stop shop where people can work on innovative projects like the Hyperloop, and um, they'll equip people with sandboxes where they can show them what to do or have access to equipment or connect them through the framework of our loop. Uh, our loop again was successfully funded um, the manufacturing of two prototype Hyperloop pods and won multiple awards at SpaceX pod competitions. Um, and their communally designed and manufactured hardware has also achieved numerous firsts in the Hyperloop space. If you want to learn more, listen to the full length um, and in-depth interview with Arloop and 10X Labs in the description below. 
Also go to rloop.org and sign up for more information and keep watching ownthehyperloop.com uh, for the latest Hyperloop stuff.